the inside life of the Bahrain royal family. In today's video, we'll introduce you to the inside life of the Bahrain royal family. From purchasing stakes in the McLaren company to expensive yachts, everything will be revealed here. The Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the smallest Arab states in the world, not heard by many people. However, rich deposits of minerals made this island kingdom one of the wealthiest in the Persian Gulf Basin. As of today, country is led by House of Khalifa, and the family is considered to be one of the richest royalty in the world. But before we dive into the lavish style of the Bahrain royal family, let's see how they family came into power. In 1782, the Al Khalifa, a clan originally based in Kuwait, captured the Bahrain Islands. The leader of the family, Sheikh Ahmad bin Khalifa, ruled the islands from Zubara to northwestern coast of Qatar until he passed away in 1796. His sons, Salman, Manama, and Abdullah, shared the rulership. They co-signed the pivotal 1820 treaty with Britain that recognized the Al Khalifa as the legitimate rulers of Bahrain. In 1869, British forces stepped in to end the fighting and appointed Sheikh Issa bin Ali, a great-grandson of Sulman, as ruler. Treaties in 1880 and 1892 confirmed Issa bin Ali the undisputed position. Around 1900, British officials demanded greater authority over Bahrain's internal affairs. This sparked riots on the island in 1923, which prompted Britain to exile Issa bin Ali and replace him with his son Hamad, who worked with British forces to restore order. When Britain granted Bahrain independence in 1971, Sheikh Issa bin Salman Al Khalifa became the first official emir and appointed his brother and family members at key positions in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Currently, the family is led by Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, whose net worth is around $5 billion, and the entire family net worth is more than $20 billion, according to several reports. Let's have a look at palaces owned by the royal family of Bahrain. The Al Qadaibiyah Palace, or Qadaibiyah Palace, is a palace in Qadaibiyah Manama, Bahrain, located off Bani Otba Avenue and Al Fatih Highway, where members of the Bahrain royal family live. It's a light pink palace with a pearl-colored, onion-shaped dome. For decades, the palace has hosted some of the most important political and VIPs around the world. Apart from this, the royal family also own Al Sakir Palace, which is located in the desert region of western Bahrain. Al Sakir Palace was constructed by a specialist group of builders of the Riyan Group headed by Zar Haidar Bana. Apart from this, there isn't much info revealed by the royal family. The royal family of Bahrain also spends billions on transportation. Let's look at the private jets owned by the family. According to the Air Charter Report, the official aircraft of the King of Bahrain is a state airline of Bahrain Royal Flight. At the moment, its air fleet consists of six aircrafts, a Boeing business jet BBJ-2, two Boeing 747-400s, a Boeing 767-400ER, and so on. Each one is a VIP configuration and is intended exclusively for the members of the royal family and high government officials. The 767-400ER is valued at $250 million. The most recent purchases of the Bahrain royal family is the Boeing 767-400ER, whose interior design costs more than $100 million. The interiors of the airplane were completed by the corporation Lufthansa Technik. Due to ethical considerations, the company has released extremely limited information on the interiors. According to several reports, the passenger deck of the airplane is divided into two autonomous zones, with a separate VIP private living room and a negotiation area. In the airplane cabin, there's also individual VIP cabins and bedrooms, though the exact number is unknown. The government installed medical equipment on board, including an operating room with life support devices and advanced systems of water purification. The Bahrain Royal Fleet cost is considered to be in the billions. Yachts owned by the family. The Al Riyah yacht is an impressive yacht owned by the King of Bahrain. She was originally owned by the Russian billionaire Alisher Uzmanov. The King of Bahrain purchased the Al Riyah under the royal family's name in 2018. The yacht had a selling price of 250 million euros. According to Yacht Bible, the yacht Al Rayah was built in Lursen. She was launched in 2008 as Dilbar, but later renamed to Al Rayah. The interior of the yacht was designed by Alberto Pinto. Rayah can accommodate 16 passengers and 47 crew. Her features include a large pool and a cinema. Further, she has a sauna and steam room, a massage room, and a hospital. The owner's deck includes a very large office and conference room. There are 21 crew cabins and 4 staff cabins. 
The crew has its own gym. The captain's cabin includes a dressing room and private office. She has a 15 to 25 million dollar running cost per year. Other properties and expenses of the royal family. Bahrain's royal family has built up vast private wealth from the properties owned, including a 900 million dollar portfolio in UK real estate after embarking on development projects on disputed land in the Gulf Kingdom. According to a report by the Guardian newspaper, the family of Bahrain's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his son Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also bought one of Saudi Arabia's largest estates in the Cotswolds in the UK, Glimpton Park Estate, for more than 120 million pounds. The Glimpton Park property in the Cotswolds includes the main house, which was constructed in the 18th century, parkland, and a church. According to New York Times report, the Bahrain royal family purchased a small stake in Paris FC Football Club, a team that plays in France's second tier, as part of the agreement in which Bahrain Sovereign Wealth Fund took a 20% stake in the club. Companies owned by the royal family Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, or Mumtalakat, is the sovereign wealth fund of the royal family of Bahrain. As of 2018, the Mumtalakat held stakes in over 60 companies, including two of the most famous, Aluminum Bahrain and Gulf Air, in 14 countries with its $16.8 billion worth of assets. According to Forbes, Mumtalakat invests in different sectors including education, aviation, healthcare, consumer, and financial services, and more. Apart from this, according to Arabian Business, the Bahrain royal family has bought a 30% shareholding in the McLaren Group using its holding company called Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding. The company is chaired by Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Bahraini finance minister and a member of the Bahrain royal family. The Bahrain royal family does its philanthropy work through the Royal Humanitarian Foundation. The RHF has sponsored more than 11,000 orphans and widows, cared for the elderly and people with special needs, provided educational and healthcare assistance, and supported social and charitable projects. Since the outbreak of the novel coronavirus pandemic, the RHF has stepped up its humanitarian efforts by launching the FINA Care National Campaign, succeeding in collecting donations valued at over $100 million, allocated to supporting micro-entrepreneurs and Bahraini families, providing computers for distance education, and distributing food baskets, medicines, and medical masks. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below your favorite part. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to show your appreciation for this video.